Hi, and welcome back to Break 100 Golf. I'm John. If you're looking for information on how to connect the Garmin R10 to GS Pro and GS Pro Course Play, then you've come to the right place. Now, before I get started, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. It will really help the channel to grow and it'll allow me to continue bringing content like this to YouTube. Now, let's get right into this. The first thing you're gonna wanna do to connect the Garmin R10 to GS Pro is to pair it with the Bluetooth connector on your PC. So, with your Garmin Approach R10 off, press and hold the button on the back in the off state until it turns a solid blue, like that. Once it's solid blue, then you're gonna follow the video that I'm gonna play here in just a minute. Please pay close attention to the part where I talk about running the software as an administrator, not GS Pro, but the Bluetooth connector. Okay, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click on settings, then click on Bluetooth and devices. From there, make sure that Bluetooth is turned on then you're gonna scroll down the page to where it says Bluetooth Devices Discovery. Make sure that box is set to advanced, very important. Then you're gonna click on Add Device, click on Bluetooth, you'll see your device there, Approach R10, click on that, it'll say Connecting. Then once it says Connected, you're good to go. And then once you leave out of there, you'll see that your device is in Bluetooth and devices. From there, you're gonna download the adapter, which I put a link below this video. Download it, click on it to extract it. Click on the GS Pro R10 logo, hit extract all. Make sure it says show extracted files when complete and extract. Then I would recommend that you drag those to your desktop. From there, you're gonna to wanna to right click on the GS Pro Starter, click on compatibility, this is very important. Make sure this box that says run this program as an administrator is checked and press apply. From there, you can start your GS Pro connector. Now, you can start GS Pro. Now, it's very important to run this program as a administrator. Because if you do not, there's a very good chance that when you start GS Pro, that the GS Pro connector will disconnect. Now you're ready to play. All right, and now here is some course play on GS Pro on the Cape Kidnappers golf course on the back nine. Just a few holes for you to demonstrate the software. Nice.
And that's about it for today's video. I certainly do appreciate you watching today. Please hit that like button if you did like today's content and share it with anybody who may be interested in GS Pro. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.